I'm joined here by Master Sergeant Nider, correct? That's correct. Man. I got it right. I'm joined here by him today here at Joint Base Charleston. And Sergeant, you actually orchestrated today's events. Tell me a little bit about what's happening here today at the base. Yes, ma'am. So today at the base, we're going to have a uh, 5K run. They're going to start at about 0630, uh, and they're going to continue to run all the way to about 1600. That's 4 p.m. Uh, we're going to have that consistent of a uh, POW MIA reading of names. And uh, at 1600, we're also going to have a retreat ceremony where we're going to pay respect to to our final POW MIA members as well, ma'am. Wow, and so events already happening right now, even though even though the sun hasn't even risen yet, sure. and they're going to last all the way until four o'clock. Tell me a little bit about why it's important for Joint Base Charleston to recognize this national day and to really honor the POWs and MIAs. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so the reason why we're here today, the reason why we're able to have our freedoms today, is in uh, 300 million Americans across the uh, the U.S. is because of those individuals. Those individuals have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Um, they've gone through uh, through hardships, challenges, difficult times, and things like that. Too in order for us to have those freedoms. So it's important that we recognize the prison of the war and also the missing in action personnel. Absolutely. Well, Master Sergeant, I just want to say thank you for your service. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Things are kicking off very shortly here at 630. Yep. Any moment, those names will be read aloud. And, of course, um, pay respect to the uh, POWs and MIA. So thank you for joining me. And I will be here bringing you coverage on News 2 Today. I'm reporting live in North Charleston. Taylor Murray, count on two.